Hi yogis, I'm Nicole, welcome to today's practice. So today's yoga snack is ideal for any time of the day though, especially in the evening when you're wanting to undo any tension from the day or bad posture. So I do have one block for this practice. If you don't have a block, you can always improvise with a thick book or a rolled up towel. And we're gonna to start seated with those legs crossed. So if you're sitting here with your knees quite high, do sit up on your block or your rolled up towel. Let's have a little flexion in the feet, draw the toes back towards the knees and press the feet down into the mat. Feel like you're sending your right foot to the left and the left foot to the right. Let's bring those fingertips to touch just in front of the heart and I want you to round your upper back and try and push your arms down so you can feel a little tone through your armpits. Keep sending the feet in the opposite direction. Inhale and as you exhale turn to your right. When you begin to inhale, come back to center and then exhale left. So you should feel fairly stable through your lower body. Twisting more through the middle part of the spine, which for most of us is the stiffest part. Keep that tone in the armpits, keep drawing those arms down. And this time when we go to the right, we're going to stay there. So lower your hands down, left hand onto the right knee, right hand behind you. Create a little bit of resistance between this hand and knee. So try and lift your knee and push your hand down, looking over your shoulder. And inhaling from the crown of the head to the base of the spine. A moment to pause. And as you exhale, a little tone through your navel, even looking for a gentle mulabandha, find an internal upward lift. Well done, relax that left hand on the knee, return to the front, raise the right arm up, we'll take a side bend. And with your side bend, try and round your back a little. If this right shoulder is not happy, hand to the low back instead. And take the breath into the right side waist. From here, take your gaze forward, let the left ear hang near the shoulder, float your right arm down. And then come all the way up. Well done, we'll do that on the other side. Fingertips to meet, push the feet down, send them in the opposite direction, round the upper back, armpits firm. Let's exhale to the left. And come back to center. Exhale to the right. Last one to the left. And right hand to the left knee. Create that resistance. Relaxing the right hand on the knee now, return to the front, take your side bend, allowing the back to round, little tuck of the tailbone. And then taking your gaze to the front, lower that left arm down. And coming all the way up. Well done. So from here, I'll get you just to push your legs a little further away and then take those feet a little bit wider so you've got the knees and the feet in line. Here is option one. And again, sit up on your block if you're feeling tight through the hips. Option two, some of you might be able to stack the right foot on top of the left knee. So continuing to send the feet in the opposite direction and push the feet down, you should feel quite stable through your hips. Option one, staying upright. Option two, if it's available for you, folding forward. Allowing the back to round and staying high on those fingertips. Breathing into the lower back, the outer hips. Feel free to keep those hands in the center or for a brief side bend, walk them over to your left. And then coming back to center, hands walking back. 
Let's change the cross of the legs. So left leg in front, feet underneath the knees or stacking left foot on top of the right. Feet pressed down and away, either staying here or folding forward. Option to stay in the center or walk your hands over to the right. And come back to center. Well done. So come into all fours now. Moving into your puppy pose, keeping those hips up nice and high and extending the arms in front. Feel free to have those hands as wide as the mat elbows a little closer, hands to prayer above the head. Feel the breath moving the upper body, the shoulders, the side waist. And from here we'll float those hands down, lifting the hand. Let's come down onto the navel. Extend the arms in front, keep the heart lifted. Try and pull the hands back so you're engaging the muscles along your spine. Chin lift, throat forward. And lower down. Let's take those hands a little bit wider than the shoulders, a little further in front, staying high up on those fingertips. Feet can be as wide as the mat, tailbone tucking under. As you inhale, lifting up through the shoulders, and as you exhale, lower down. And staying down this time, Either placing the hands next to the body, or if it's available for you, interlace those fingers. Tuck the tailbone under, lift the feet in the chest. Make sure you're lifting through your inner thighs. Lower belly firm. Ladies might even like to lift the pelvic floor here very gently. Gents can tone through the perineum muscle. And lower down, turn your head to one side, let those palms face the ceiling. Hands under the shoulders, let's return to tabletop. I'm going to thread the needle here only if there's no concerns with your neck. Of course, if there is any discomfort, come out of the pose. Take right arm underneath the left. Option to take a mudra with your right hand. We'll stay high on those left fingertips. <clears throat> Try and draw those shoulders towards one another and firm down through your right arm. Just notice if the hips are swinging off to the side. Try to keep them centered. And let's release, we'll change sides. Left arm underneath the right. And release, well done. Coming up to tabletop and we'll step that right foot through for a low lunge. So give the foot a lift if you need to. So from here, a little tone through the left buttock, try and squeeze the feet towards one another and lifting those arms up. We'll turn those pinky fingers in. Relax the jaw. Inhale. And as you exhale, hands down, taking half pyramid, move those hips back, point those right toes to the ceiling. Try and drag the heel back if you can. 
And if you try and lift the tailbone a little, you'll feel that a little more intensely through those hamstrings. If that's too intense for you, then you can always tuck the tailbone. So a little tone here through the armpits too as you try and pull those hands back. Well done, walk the hands forward, move into a high lunge and raise the right arm into a twist. Here we're pressing those feet away from one another. Inhale, and as you exhale, right hand down. Now, if this transition is available for you, we're gonna place the left knee behind and to the outside of the right heel and take a seat. If you need to lighten this pose, you can always straighten your left leg and sit yourself up on your block if you need to. So here we want to create a little bit of resistance between the ankle and the leg and also with the left arm and the right leg. So you might hold onto the knee, push the knee into the hand, hand into the knee or hook your elbow around the outside. So resistance here, resistance between the arm and the knee and right hand pressing down and away. And as you inhale, feel your navel expand. As you exhale, gently draw in towards the spine. And let's release to the front. Take a hold of your right foot, lean back, push the hand into the foot and then pull the hands onto the foot. So there's an even effort there, a push-pull effect and leaning back. Well done, we'll change sides. Crossing out the ankles, rolling over those knees, returning to your tabletop, prepare we'll step left leg in front. Finding your low lunge, so squeezing those feet towards one another, a little tone in the right buttock as you bring those arms up. Inhale, and then exhale, hands down, half pyramid pose, hips moving back, left toes pointing up towards the ceiling. And let's move into our high lunge with a twist. Left arm up. Strong and straight in your back leg. And lower down. Stepping your right foot up and behind to the outside of the left heel, taking a seat. Again, straighten that right leg here if you need to. So creating resistance between the left ankle and the right thigh, between the right hand or the right elbow and the left knee. The left hand pressing down and away. Let's return to the front. We'll take a hold of that left foot, leaning back, pushing the foot into the hands, hands into the foot. And release. Well done. So feel free to swish those knees from side to side. You might even like to come down onto your forearms and continue that motion. down to your back. Continue taking the knees from side to side. And next time you come back to center, keeping those knees bent, we'll take a hold of your block 
Coming into a supported bridge pose, so lifting up those hips, either having the block on the flat side or the second height if that feels okay for your back. Option to keep the knees bent or if it feels okay for your back, you can straighten and relax the legs. I'm gonna keep mine bent today. If you feel any catching in the back when you straighten the legs, then do bend the knees. Don't try to stretch through that. Tucking shoulders under and hands can be by your side or above the head. And just observing the breath, moving the body. Those arms are overhead, let's float them down. Pressing into the feet, squeezing the heels in as you lift up the hips and then the heels. Keeping those heels high as you lower down one vertebrae at a time. And when you touch down, cupping the hands over the knees. Arms are straight as you inhale. Bend the elbows as you exhale. On your next inhalation, lower those feet all the way down to the mat. We'll take our last twist. Move the hips a little to the left. Cross the left leg over the right, knees coming down to the right. Feel free to place your block underneath the legs for support. Arms out to the side if the shoulders permit. If your left shoulder is lifting up quite a lot here or there's any discomfort, just place that arm next to the spine instead. We'll move the back of the head to the right just a little and then turn your head to the left. And if you have the urge to ha out the breath here, feel free to do so. On your next inhalation, bringing those knees back to center. I'm crossing the legs, moving the hips over to the right and changing sides. And when you're ready, bring those knees back to center. I'm crossing the legs and moving into Shavasana. Taking up as much space on the mat as you need to. 
Be sure to tuck the shoulders under. Option to take a mudra, index finger and thumbs to connect. Softening the forehead. And letting the eyes roll back. Begin to inhale a little deeper now as you bring your awareness back. Take a deep inhalation and send the breath down your right arm to the fingertips. And breathe down your right leg to the tips of the toes. Sending the breath down the left leg. and down the left arm. Wiggling toes and fingers, following any urges to move or stretch. Rolling to your preferred side when you're ready. And then moving to seated. Thanks yogis for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to support free yoga on YouTube. Wishing you a lovely day.